Hey guys, welcome back to Curling Chronicles Paying It Forward. Today we are here with Scott Pfeiffer, a two-time Olympian and a world champion. Thank you so much, Scott, for spending time with us today. Yeah, thanks for coming out here, guys. So let's get started. So, uh, how did you get into curling? And tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, I was about eight years old and I started playing hockey. I played for about three years and enjoyed it, but it wasn't my cup of tea. And so my dad was a curler, so he took me out curling one day and uh, just fell in love with it. So I've been curling ever since. So how do you balance work and uh, curling and coaching all at the same time? Because a lot of the people we've interviewed in the past has like separate jobs. So. Yeah, it is very difficult. Like uh, when I was, I was in university when I started curling um, and then I worked, I had a job, had a wife and kids and it was a real challenge for sure. Um, I think maintaining that work-life balance is a, a very important thing and uh, it's difficult to do. So uh, you just gotta make sure that you're still having fun out there while you're curling and uh, everything else will hopefully work out. So how do you prepare for big competitions like Worlds or Olympics? Yeah, well, I think the preparation starts way earlier in the season. You see teams already uh, throwing rocks in, in July for an event that they wanna peak at in March or, or April. Um, so it's a lot of preparation. It's not just showing up two weeks before an event and, and throwing some rocks and thinking that you're ready. All of the top teams, uh, top athletes now are, are competing 10, 10 months throughout the year, even if it's only for one or two major competitions. So Scott, you're the Canada national coach for mixed doubles. Yes. Is it different from uh, coaching mixed doubles than a team of four? Uh, it definitely is. Um, different team dynamics for sure. Uh, instead of dealing with four guys or four drills, you're dealing with uh, a male and female athlete, which is a totally different dynamic because they're used to curling with uh, the same gender. So, uh, But it's fun. It's a fast-paced game, uh, lots of unique strategy uh, decisions, and uh, the teams I get to work with are, uh, really want to do well and represent their country and uh, be at the top of their game. So it's a lot of fun as a, as a coach. It's very rewarding. So Turbo and I are playing in U21 Nationals for mixed doubles and uh, what, do you advi uh, what advice do you have for us as juniors getting into mixed doubles? Uh, first off, I'm super excited that there are like U21 mixed doubles events now because uh, as teams get uh, or as athletes grow up, it's just being exposed to the mixed doubles discipline, I think taking a lot of what you've learned from mixed doubles, it, it actually makes you a better curler on the four person side as well. Um, I think strategy wise, just making sure uh, that you're missing shots on the on the right side, so you're not being you're not going heavy. You're leaving your shot, or your rocks in a place that it can uh, can be used in a, a later point in the game. Uh, and then obviously the di the team dynamics, making sure that you and your partner are on the same page and uh, having fun out there, and hopefully getting the momentum you need to win a big event like that. Scott, um, how has the sport of curling changed since you started? <laughs> well, back when I started curling, people were still using corn boots. You know what those are. Yeah. Um, so the, the sport has changed a ton over the years. And I think even for me as a 47 year old, I'm dating myself now, but uh, every day I'm still learning things. I'm still picking up uh, things from our conversations with Bruce Mullen upstairs uh, that I can then relate to some of our athletes as well. So I think the biggest thing is the game is always changing. It's never, never going to stay the same. So it's being flexible and adaptable and, and willing to learn. Okay, so what do you think uh, we can do to get more young people in this world? I That's a great question. Um, I think making, making the game more accessible to the athletes. Um, you know, how getting schools uh, more exposure on television. I, mean, I think that's the way you guys got involved in the sport as you saw some of your athletes and role models on television. So I think the more exposure we can get for young athletes and getting them, getting them out hooked on the sport would be a great thing. Now, how do you think we can get the sport of curling more mainstream in the US like it is in Canada? Yeah, I think it takes time, but um, I think making the broadcast more exciting and uh, action-packed. So I think mixed doubles is a great uh, thing for that because it's not it's not a two and a half hour game. It's usually done in an hour and a half. And there's lots of rocks in play. So it's very exciting. So I'd love to see 
uh, more teams playing mixed doubles uh, and more younger curlers getting involved and, and watching it on TV. So, um, do you have like goals that you still want to accomplish in curling? Yeah, I mean, I love competing. Even though I'm not on the ice as an athlete, I still get to work with a lot of uh, aspiring athletes who want to stand on the top of the podium at the Olympics. Um, so for me, that's really rewarding, being able to try and help them achieve that goal. Uh, just like I'm sure you guys will be one day trying to uh, stand on that podium for the U.S. So what advice do you have for new or young curlers just getting into the sport? Um, I would say make sure the primary goal is to go have fun, uh, get a good friend group that you uh, enjoy playing with. Two of my best friends are people that I've known for 40 years that I uh, that I grew up playing curling with. So um, it's a lifelong friendship uh, with a lot of people in the game. So uh, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. And, and you're gonna win some games, you're gonna lose some and don't get too dejected. It's a, it's a huge learning process. Uh, when you do lose games, they used to um, help you uh, down the road. So, is there stuff that people don't know about you that outside of curling? Like fun things you do outside of curling? Ah, that's a that's a good question. Um, I love to ski, so I'm uh, love to uh, be on the ski hill as much as I can. And uh, oh, that's a good question. I love spending time with family. Both my boys are 23 and 21, uh, gonna be moving out soon. So uh, it's just spending time with them and my family, uh, doing stuff together is one of my favorite pastimes for sure. Thank you so much for spending time. Yeah, thanks guys. And thanks for all your help uh, elevating the sport in uh, the US. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.